Here is the not-so-typical tail of the tape for ESL Cup America's number 80 Grand Finals. It's going to be Michael against Hunter. It will be South Korea against Peru. Undead against Night Elf. You might be thinking, something's missing here. Something is out of place. And yeah, Hitman was eliminated by Hunter in the semifinals 2-1. to one. So Hunter definitely has well deserved his place in this best of five winner this will get 100 usd and 10 ept points loser will get five ept points map one will be autumn leaves as i said before best of five let's check it out man what can you say here's michael in the bottom left opening with ghouls in the upper right here is hunter opening with an ancient war at the expansion probably a keeper to start us off Okay, Keeper for Hunter and Death Knight for Michael. I'm wondering if he does play both one base and fast expansions. So we'll see what he chooses. He's definitely going to be switching it up throughout the series. You don't want to be overly predictable with your fast expansions. Unless, of course, you're a Night Elf player and then it's more of a, you know, strategically brute forcing the fact that you're on two bases. Whereas Undead, you know, you like to be a little bit more tricky with it. Right, and the expansion creep will happen. The Acolyte, I actually did miss if the Acolyte saw the Ancient War position. Full of Intelligence. I do like this opening creep route for Hunter. The Death Knight got to come straight across, actually. A wacky opening for Michael. You know, Michael also known to two-crip ghoul rush a lot of the time, so he's very all over the place in this matchup. Something I really enjoy about Michael's uh, burst L. Coil, but Moonwell nicely positioned by Hunter. And Hunter actually gets all the experience there. One more Skelly would grant him level 2. Hear that 20 experience. Oh, Boop. it's gonna be level two. There we go. There's the entangle. And these actually, these force of natures have enough uh, duration that a surround could kill the Deathlander force to town portal. Okay, Michael is gonna play one base. He seems to prefer to play one base on autumn leaves. now attacking Players forces are under attack could soon build the tree of life but he doesn't know where the ghouls are okay now he knows where the ghouls are so he could build the tree of life safely like right here for instance and it would most likely get up if he built it right now i think that'd be a good choice for hunter because he knows the ghouls are creeping if he just uses this wisp right now isn't foggy pretty close to skill to moon i would actually say so yeah recently i've been very impressed with foggy but I think Moon is still a, a tier above, absolutely. I would say Moon is like a tier 1 player, and Foggy's probably tier 2. And by tier 1, I mean like Happy, Lin, Moon. That's pretty much it. Maybe Infi in shape. Michael Split Creeping. Does he have Backpack? He does have Backpack. And here's the Tree of Life. Okay, this is a great play from Hunter to secure his uh, his tree. He's going to come aggressive, and yeah, Hunter's actually ahead in this game now. It might not seem like a lot, but the fact that he's pressuring Michael to use his coils, he's killing a couple of ghouls. He's going to even kill another ghoul soon, and his Tree of Life is entirely saved. This is just very well played so far by Hunter. A third ghoul. Yeah, Hunter's very ahead. Very ahead. 
A player's forces are under attack. Maybe a couple of trade kills for Michael. Nice block. So Hunter's playing very well, I gotta say. And he's going for a Hunter's Hall now, of course, to get those lords for the Dryads. An archer probably is going to pay the price. This would. Oh my god, is he going to save every archer? Hunter, he's going to save every archer. Every archer lives. Oh my god, there's no way. Kira slays with the 500 bits to witness history. Cheers. Thanks, Kira. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, Hunter, I say again, is in an excellent position. Slaughterhouse. So many ghouls went down three already. Is Michael just going to tier two expand? He might feel forced into. Because if you lose that many ghouls, it really significantly lowers the effectiveness of like a tier three timing, for instance. So yeah, he's just going to tier two expand. Hunter, oh, he's so close to level three as well. Hunter could creep level three. His demon hunter will come out. He can start power creeping the demon hunter. And then he can pressure with level three keeper. Perhaps pressure this. Actually, one crypt gargs. Cool strat from Michael. Yeah, Colorful might be tier 1. He might be etching his way into tier 1 slowly. Remo Demo's tier 1. <laughs> I was actually talking to Remo Demo about those tiers yesterday. And he said the same thing for the tier 1. In fact, he said it first, he said. Yeah, I think there's a clear tier one and then tier two. Tier one being those three players. I don't know if he said a fourth player in there. I think he just played said happy Lin Moon in the, the top. God, this is really well played from Hunter. He's going to the main base. He's creeping his Demon Hunter solo. He's already level two. Is Goldmine not canceled because the keeper is forcing Michael back? Hunter has played this game perfectly so far. He didn't find the expansion. So I think the one thing that for lacking from Hunter thus far has been he's had poor Wisp scouting. He should know about the expansion. He should have probably been able to cancel it with that Keeper. But other than that, I mean, very, very well done so far. He's going to have Demon Hunter level 3 in no time. His lures are probably up. Yeah. Just super well done. Greedy, greedy, greedy boy with the tier 3 tech. But... Seeing as though we know there's an expansion for Michael, he's going to get away with the tier 3 attack. Oh, Nova. Nice last hit from Michael. Yeah, Enfy's damn good. I miss seeing him play too. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, Acolyte's being pulled back. There's a Merubian. Staff of Teleportation on cooldown. No level 2 coil, though, or else maybe a Force TP could be a possibility. Look at the items, by the way. Demon Hunter a little slacking in the experience now because he went for this very aggressive creep. I feel like just creeping more passively. There's no need, if you're Hunter, to steal away camps from the undead. Just be happy with what the camps that you're essentially given when you're not supposed to have map control. When your expansion is very vulnerable. Why isn't tier 1? No, I, unfortunately I would not put him tier 1. Tier 2 though. Tier 2 though. And the tier 1 players, I uh, rating extremely highly, right? Like, oh nice coil last hit there. Yeah, like tier 1 is rated extremely, extremely highly. Is that a last hit as well? Yeah, it was. Triple last hit from Michael, the mad lad. Steals all the experience away, and look at the Demon Hunter. So far away from level 3, but the tier 3 tech is underway for Hunter. It's done, in fact, so he just needs a bit more lumber, and he'll have bears on the way in no time. In fact, he already has master bears, so Hunter one step ahead of me. Yeah, you could say S tier, those three players, or S plus, how about that? Those those players are S plus, and then S tier would be like the flies, the Jamie goes. Foggy would be there. Wow. A player's forces are under attack. 
creeping begins. Two base, two bases. Is it just going to be a full commitment to Gargs? It seems to be a full commitment to, at least for now, one Crypt Gargs with the second Crypt on the way. Ooh, Sapper. And a Priest of the Moon third. Interesting third hero from Hunter, but I like it. I like it. I like what I'm seeing. 59 supply against 47. Hunter trying to break the expansion. Hard to push into these towers, though, of course. I think Panda 3rd might be the better choice of a 3rd hero for Hunter, but um, still the fact that he's got a 3rd hero this early is nice for him. And I guess the idea is just to have good damage in your archers to deal with the guards. Mana burn. Does he have double staff? He's got one staff. He doesn't actually have staff preservation, or else he could just staff that demon hunter back and heal him full and come back. Just shooting the Necropolis. And Michael is not mining in the meantime. And he's running out of gold, actually. So Hunter's going to pull ahead even more in supply. Well, Nova now on the Keeper. Going to force perhaps a Town Portal. I think this has been good damage for Hunter, though. Even though he hasn't killed anything, just the Force Repair and Stop Mining has been good for Hunter. Michael has an Onk. Look at the damage. Oh, my God. He's going to force that Onk, most likely. There it is. Yeah, I think Hunter could be happy with the damage he got done. He lost some units, but pretty good. Get a player tier list? I could do that. I could definitely do that. People wouldn't agree with it, though. I'd put some players in tier 3 that you guys might be mad about. I'd put some players in tier 4 and tier 5 that you might got, you guys might be mad about. A player's forces are under attack. <laughs> Maybe me and Remo Demo could do it together. This is what Remo Demo was talking about with me yesterday. And he, he was the one that said the tears initially. Oh, Sapper found, but detonated in time. Doesn't get the full damage on the Nerubian, unfortunately, for Hunter, but nicely done by Michael to catch that Sapper. Michael's playing very patiently. He's playing very well. He's slowly but surely picking apart the health of the Demon Hunter. He's killing archers here and there. And he's, most importantly, holding this expansion. If the Sapper connected, if the Necropolis died, it would have gotten a lot rougher. I would have liked to see Hunter actually expand again in the meantime. He would have been able to go back and creep it right now. And that would have been nice. What's the follow-up? Just continue to build Gargs. He's got a single abomination now. Is Disease Cloud on the way? Not quite yet, but Ghoul Frenzy is. Marksmanship now, only now being upgraded, actually. Tangle on the Lich. Destroyer a little bit out of position. Uh-oh, Invalm. Might be Forest. Nope, not quite yet. Hunter's playing very well, I gotta say. He's pressuring Michael this whole time, but Michael's slowly getting stronger. And there's only archers. Oh, Lich. Another coil in time. Two archers caught out of position. There is one more entangle, and remember that Onk was forced earlier. But immediate devour this time by the destroyer. This is all Michael in this fight. No staff to save the bottom. The bottom goes down. Michael's stomping this fight. Michael could even just get out now. He's killed so much and lost, I think, pretty much nothing. Dreadlord now third. The sleep is nice. Hunter, I think, overcommitting. I think he should just use the map control he had to just expand again. But now he's just lost, like, 30 supply. He lost the Priestess. And now he Town Portal's out. Yeah, I... Hunter was playing so well up until that fight. I think he just, he just needed to expand again. Town Portal out immediately there. And he would have gone and crept the expansion right now. And still had a 70 supply army. Yeah, 
Michael's in a extremely dominant position now. 79 or 76 supply against 50 currently. And still even economy. And Michael now is the map control in the world. All the map control in the world, rather, to uh, just power creep every camp on the map. Even gonna get the aura now, I can imagine. It could be actually Carrion Swarm. Because there's a lot of archers still, but aura might just be better for the ghouls, of course. Ring of Regeneration, my favorite item, finally makes an appearance today. Is that the first Ring of Regeneration we see today? I feel like it is. At last, at last. My love has come along. Red Camp now, Claws plus 12. And a Pennant of Energy from the expansion, so very good items back to back for Michael. Not an aura, but still very nice. Hunter struggling to get back up. Going for a second Age of War now, and Mountain Giant upgrades. So Hunter needs time, but Michael's not going to give him any time. Sixty-four against seventy-nine, but a lot of that's got to be in, you know, production. With the Mountain Giant, it takes quite a while to build. What's it? Forty-five seconds to build? Forty seconds. Oh yeah, Hitman participated in Beercraft. Oh yeah, he did. Main base is 2,600 left. Expansion's pretty even. A yeah, almost dead even, in fact. Attack. And Michael just knows he could win the fight, and no reason to just push into the expansion and probably not kill the expansion. Better to just use the map control he has just to creep everything. It's, it's perfectly done by Michael. Yeah, and Hunter has no chance now to not only creep, but no chance to actually win a fight. Probably no chance to even stop this expansion. Maybe he could send Treants down right now, but... A player's forces are under not going to be easy game now for Hunter. As Michael takes the next red camp, another Claws plus 12. Cloak of Flames, pretty bad item, all things considered. Yeah, hippos can work against Gargs, but you need at least even numbers, and you also need to retrain into Thorn's Aura. And also, ideally, you need a Panda third for Drunken Haze. So a lot of things you need to prepare for a Hippo against Garg fight, or else just Coil Nova, preemptively, Vamp Aura. Gargs are already upgraded and already have the superior numbers. It's very difficult if you don't have all those things. The Tamperlin, 87 against 76. The Mountain Giants are going to be pretty strong. Oh, that was a fake town portal. Pardon me. The Frenzy Ghouls are so good against Mountain Giants, though. They're so good. Look at that Nova as well. Michael probably is going to TP out. He could take the fight, but I think better to better just to leave. But I think he's going to take it, and I think he's still going to win the fight. Look at the Nova. Detonates come in, but not really landing properly. 57 against 85 supply, yeah. Michael doesn't need to fight here, but he can win the fight, so why not? Potom about to fall in Balm Force, but yeah, Hunter down to pretty much five units now. Lich almost falls. Is there a coil to save that Lich? There is a coil, and it is used. 81 against 47. Michael probably like, thank you for killing those units. I wanted to be below upkeep. High upkeep, that is, and he is now. Hunter down to a single mountain giant. Okay, two mountain giants, a bear, and three heroes. Michael back up to 81 supply. And again, mining on not one, not two, but three bases versus one currently. Both Mountain Giants very low. Is there no Moonwall mana? There is. Surprised to see Hunter not heal up this MG. They're both gonna fall. Lich level 5 now. Get ready for the nuke. The Keeper already found it, and the Demon Hunter probably soon to eat a nuke as well. TP pass, staff out. The Keeper also staffed out, so Hunter lives, but 
29 supply, and GG will be called for game one. Very well played from Hunter, I have to say, but Michael with the patience. Hunter with the not-so-patient play, actually. And that's what it comes down to. One bad fight from Hunter, and Michael takes all map control, takes every creep, and takes the 1-0. Hey, BP Woody, with the Prime for two months? What the fuck Warcraft is going on? It is. It is indeed. Appreciate that. Two months, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was Autumn Leaves, and that is Michael10. Okay, can Hunter fight back? You definitely don't want to go down 2-0. So Hunter's going to need to take map 2. Or it's going to be very, very difficult for Hunter. Yeah, Hunter's going to need to take map 2. Or it's going to be very difficult for him. I think I said Michael. But... And as I said at the start of the series, Michael probably smoking. And he probably will after each game. So let's sit back. Let's sit back and wait a minute. <sighs> Has a South American ever won an ESL Cup? Um, no. Europeans? And Insups won one. Hitmen's won 16. I think Crav won one. And I think Michael won one. I think is, is what we have so far. Cast one map with a southern accent. I'm not too good at accents. Actually. I'm not too good at accents. Okay, Michael's in the game. Alright. Tidehunters will be map two. Wait, weren't we just no we were just on all leaves? Yeah, Tidehunters will be map two. As I was saying previous, I mean Hunter does not want to go down zero two. He does not. Be like less claypool? If only. If only I was that talented. Has North America ever won any Europe Cup? I've won a European 2v2 tournament. How about that? I'm North American. Alright, here we go. Game 2. Tide Hunters. Michael up 1-0. Can Hunter fight back? He's got to get this map. I do say he's got to get this map. Or I think it's going to be a 3-0. So here we go. Here's Hunter in the upper left. We'll see what here he goes for this time around. Demon Hunter or Keeper. In the bottom right, we do have Michael. Hunter played the first, like, nine minutes of that game so well. I just think all he needed to do is just back up, expand again, don't take a bad fight, play more patiently. And he's probably got it in the bag, but um, he overcommitted, and that's all it takes. Still hype for New World? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm playing it. There's even some friends. I got some real-life friends that are going to play it as well, and I got some online friends that are going to play it, so we're all going to join the same server. It's going to be a good time. I'm excited for it. Alright, will it be a demon? 
will be a keeper again. And I think Hunter showed us last game that he's very well understands how to play the keeper early game. So I do like that. We'll see if Michael goes for a fast expansion. This is a great map for fast expanding with a death knight. And that accolade tends to indicate fast expansion, but we'll still wait and see. Wait, Hunter is... Oh my god. Oh, Hunter's blind countering a fast expansion. He's blind countering it. That's sick. That's sick from Hunter. He's just calling it out, and I think he's right. I think he's absolutely correct. Yep, he's totally correct. He's going straight across the map. Is it in tank first or treants first, I wonder? The wisps here, the keepers here. Here we go. Let's see if Hunter can delay the expansion. Okay, it is treants, I think the better choice. He does detonate, he can probably cancel the ziggurat actually. No second ancient work quite yet. Detonate. If he can now cancel the zig, he's gonna. Well, he's gonna force the second sacrificial skull, so not actually that big of a deal. Yeah, there it out goes. Force the second ziggurat as well, but there are more treants where this came from. Hunter's ability. Second That's ancient war? No, just one for now. Just one. Street of Life, never heard of that? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Oh, if he can kill the Acolyte, that's a very big deal for Hunter. Another Acolyte should already be in production for Michael. Michael might just have to tack. He might just tack. Last hit here. Trying to deny that aura, but doesn't get it. I think a Ziggurat could still be built here. But, um, Hunter's done a good job of stopping this expansion. I think this is just going to be a tech from Michael. Under yeah, there's a tech. And Hunter teching. This is why it's nice that he didn't go into two Ancient Wars right away, because now we can transition into a pretty normal game. Pretty no Not completely normal, because it's going to be a bit tough. But one thing Huntresses are much better at than Archers is securing a maybe a quick expansion for Hunt Hunter. Yep, he still gets 10 points towards Asia if he wins this cup. Humonga. Oh, a little bit of a creep, Jack. Attempted surround, I think, there, actually. But yeah, this is where Huntresses are very good. They're good against ghouls. They don't have a good, you know, damage or armor type. Well, they have a good armor type. They don't have a good damage type, but they still do very good because they have a lot of health. They're hard to surround. Where they're hard to kill in a surround, and they have bouncing glaives and all that stuff, so... Very nice, very nice. Skeleton trying to find an expansion, but not going to find one quite yet. And Hunter building an AP here. Maybe a little bit of an overcommitment there. Don't think that's necessary. Crab one once, Insup one once, and Hitman one last 16. Okay, so uh, Michael didn't actually win one. I see, I see. Oh my god, Hunter! There's a Cloak of Shadows! And these Force of Natures are about to run out. That's quite the surround. If there wasn't a Cloak there, this Death Knight probably wouldn't have died, but he would have been very low HP. Probably less than half. I wonder what Hunter's going to go into. Because he kind of has to expand if he... Oh, I think he's going Winds, guys. I think he's going Ancient of Winds. Let's see. Let's see. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I might be entirely wrong. We'll wait and see. A player's forces are under attack. Because there's no expansion yet. And there kind of needs to be. Tier 2 about to be done for both players. Michael actually kept up in tech. And no second crypt for him. Just chase around the key, but the keeper's stuck on level 1 for so long. Okay, it is Loras. I was entirely wrong. That shop timing just seemed a little bit... something off about that shop timing. 
player's forces are under attack. Oh, Treant stock, poor little fella. There is a coil for this ghoul, but it might still fall. There is dust if Michael lands us around on one of these huntresses, and he might land it. Oh, I think he's still going to get one. Come on. He's got it. Slow. Okay, he's going to get one. Oh, surely. Surely he gets one. Okay, there he goes. But a TP out immediately by Hunter. And Michael, I like that. Michael doesn't even dust. He doesn't even dust. Why waste the gold? Why waste the dust? Yeah, Hunter's playing one base, which attack. is like I don't, I haven't missed an expansion, have I? No, it's not really doable on one base with Keeper Demon. I have to say, but maybe I'll be uh, proven wrong. Maybe I'll be proven wrong today. Who knows? What do I know? First Garg out, a little bit of a fakey achy. Oh no, not much of a fake, just one crit Garg set. Cool little happy build. A player's force is under attack. And Michael might get level 3 here. Not quite. If he pulls the Lich away, he would. But one more camp will do it. Keeper finally gets level 2. This Garg is being extremely annoying, and this is only going to cost Michael one coil if he micros it. Which he definitely should. And there's the one coil. Nice items for the Lich. Invulnerability potion was purchased. Lightning shield was found. Yeah, Michael's in a great position here. I don't think he has anything to be afraid of. He knows there's no expansion. He was scheduled with the skeletons earlier on. He can do so with the Gargs now. He can just be happy to play a one base, one base game and have, you know, the stronger heroes, the stronger army with the Gargs. One ghoul going to be caught out. Nova on the Demon Hunter. But there's not going to be any mana left over, and a couple of ghouls will pay the price. Nice lightning shield there by Hunter. How funny would it be if Hunter actually just expanded here? Michael still wouldn't have scouted it if Hunter just, instead of this AP, just expanded there. Okay, two or three tech lures. And you know, if you have something like a Dima Hunter Panda, Warden Panda, Warden Solo, you can play one base, of course, but these heroes are just, they're not going to carry you in the fights. You need the units. You need the supply advantage to carry you in the fights. Which is why you need the expansion. But that's Hopefully not what Hunter's going for. And where is this damage going to come from? It's not going to come from these heroes later on. You dig? Ring of Protection found here. Level 2 in the Lich, level 3 in the Death Knight. Good level ups. Hunter continues to creep. He needs to get level 3 3 ideally. And not the greatest item to be found here, but a nice chunk of experience. But no TP, so Hunter's got to be very careful. Uses the Heal Scroll, Sentry Wards. Pretty useful though. Not, not a good item, but pretty useful. Or not good, sorry, item comparable to the other items you can find. Like the consumable here at this expansion. Entry wards, of course, are a good item. And Demon Hunter's got to be oh so careful. He's probably going to eat a Coil Nova right away. Actually, the Keeper does. There's no TP, guys. And there's another Coil. Even with the Mana Burn, there's a Coil. The Keeper falls. Michael's kind of dominating this game. There's another Coil Nova as well. The Demon Hunter cannot even come in for a Mana Burn. He would just die. And here's the Tier 3 expansion for Michael. Yeah, Tier 3 Expo. And Hunter, nowhere near having an expansion. He's not even Tier 3 yet, guys, himself. This is looking like a 2-0 lead, and it's going to be a tough position for Hunter to crawl his way back in, in this series and in this game now. Team Hunter's finally going to get level 3. Not quite here, but he could maybe... He'll snag the lab. I, I, I mean, I feel like he's just gonna get creep jacked if he goes to that camp. Oh, he can creep the green. There we go. There we go, Hunter. Michael gets Hellstone from this red camp. There's a level three demon hunter. That is one thing checked out or checked off the list of things the hunter needs to accomplish. Another thing would be bear master training, double orb, an expansion. Those are all things that hunter needs, or he is going to definitely lose. 
And all Michael has to do is keep this expansion safe and just power creep, and he's happy. He's very happy. Even transitions into fiends now. Could get a second crypt soon as well if he wanted. Hunter going around the outside, looking for maybe some reinforcements. The keeper's finally back. No town portal still, though, for Hunter. Has to be careful with that keeper if it gets caught out. The nuke is stronger than it even was before. A player's forces are under attack. Panda third, I like that from Hunter. That's what I suggested last game when he went for Priestess. But the fact that he even gets the third hero, I think, is really good. Regardless of what it is, Coil Nova, though. Good me, I dodged this Coil with the anti-magic. Dodges it with the staff, actually. That's a lot better. And the consumable is going to be stolen away by Michael. Maybe a mana burn last hit, but doesn't matter. And Wanda Man still used. Oh, the demon are going to be forced to do a potion of vulnerability. Is. I feel like Michael could have even chased that demon hunter and killed it with the aura. Because he had a mana pop for another coil. Bear out of position. Even supply, though, so if Hunter can somehow keep these heroes alive, he might be able to win a fight, but it's going to be difficult. Nice staff again. A player's forces are under attack. This expansion, soon to be fully saturated. This AP has done nothing. Michael hasn't even been back here since the early game. Hunter needs to just... Creep up what he can at this point. I don't think he's going to be able to expand himself, but if he can creep Panda 3 and maybe go for one final push towards this expansion, it might be his best bet. Because I doubt Michael's going to give him the space to expand at this stage. Scourge Bone Chimes. But they'll probably be an Abomination joining in soon, so yeah, there's the Disease Cloud, so it'll be relatively helpful. Panda might get level 3 here. So the heroes are going to be pretty strong. The keeper is actually the underleveled one. Yeah, this will definitely be Panda 3 if the creep jack doesn't come in right here, right now. We see Michael, as I mentioned, not giving the space to the potential expansion here. Panda so close to level 3. And Michael is just happy just to run around. There's... Only one camp left on the map? Well, there's the remainder of, like, one trapper at the lab, and then this red camp is it. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, this will be Panda 3. Okay, so good heroes for Hunter if he can get the orbs as well behind them. He could definitely win a fight. Michael just power creeping. Alchemist third. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. A lot of hero focus seems to be the play. Or he went for heal spray action. So just countering the panda seems to be the play. Cadgars, that is a crazy good item for Michael, as though he needed it anyway. He's been on two base for so long now. 75 against 62. I fear there is not much shot for Hunter here. The AP finally gets taken out. It's been there for about 10 minutes now. I just don't know if there's any chance for Hunter to win a fight. 75 against 62. The better items, the better hero levels, the better army, the better economy. All in Michael's favor. And home base advantage now, too, as he TPs back. The Nerubian will fall, but... Oh, very defensive town portal for Michael. Bears trying to find their surface area. The panda finds a decent breath, but the alchemist actually completely counters that. The heal spray is kind of nice. Who needs heal scrolls when you can just get an alchemist third? Dry is all falling. Bears have fallen. Panda breath again. One destroyer will fall. Michael kind of in a wacky position. Mana pot used. Next breath of fire will be big. Hunter getting a lot of units very low. Both statues, two fiends about to fall, a third fiend about to fall. Is there another breath? Potion used. It's not, there's almost another breath. He could use it. There it goes. Hunter finding a lot of kills here, guys. 40 supply against 53. Hunter finds a lot of kills, but the expansion is still standing. And 2-0 now for Michael. Decent fights over Hunter. As I, I mean, I was hyping it up to be like completely one-sided, but Hunter... Killed like five fiends, a destroyer, two statues, four ghouls. I think he actually traded favorably there, but 
If you don't break the expansion in that spot, I'm afraid you cannot win the game. And we'll see what map three is as Michael just needs one more and Hunter's going to need to reverse sweep the Korean. Which is uh, very difficult to do to say the least. Out of water again. Hey, vegetable combo with the prime for 10 months. You guys really says thank you so much, man. 10 months. Almost at the one year. You'll be there in uh, October. We'll see you in October for the one year, baby. We'll have a birthday party for you on stream. I'll get a party hat. Get a cake. Delicious. Won't be able to have any of the cake because it'll just be here on my desk, but you know, I'll make sure it's ice cream. All right, could potentially be the last map of the night. It's almost 9 o'clock here, guys. It's almost midnight on the east coast of North America. You know what that means. I don't. You guys might, though. It means something. What does it mean? Sweet Caroline, ba ba ba. <laughs> and Michael's not here. Well, these guys are really turning a uh, what could be an hour-long best of five into about two hours. <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. Okay, Michael's here. Michael's here. I don't think he was actually smoking. Hey, what's up, side? Merci beaucoup. Appreciate you. 33 months, man. Good to see you. 33 months. Now, I know how to say three in French, but I don't know how to say 33. So, unfortunately, it's just going to be trois, trois months. And here's game toi for our grand finals. Michael against Hunter. Can Hunter reverse sweep? It's going to be on Amazonia. Typically a good night elf map. Typically a good keeper of the grove map. Typically a good fast expansion map. We'll see if Hunter can do it. Let's go. Here's Michael in the upper right up 2-0 currently. This is a map where he has played two Crypt Ghoul Rush. And actually, I think this is it. The Jewel Ghoul, everybody. Here's Hunter, of course, in the bottom left, getting Jewel Gould. This is very typical Michael. I said this on Autumn Leads. He often two crips, and he often two crips on this map, and he often two crips with this opener on this map. So all signs point towards Cheese Town. Play some banjo during the breaks. My banjo was actually in my shed and very out of tune. He didn't cancel! Oh no, he didn't cancel! Hunter might just GG right now. That is absolutely horrific for Hunter. That is worst case scenario. That is me playing 4v4, not knowing the maps, trying to fast expand and losing my Ancient War three times over because the creeps aggro on all the 4v4 maps for some reason. And Michael might just throw down a second crypt here. A player's forces are under attack. Oh no. Oh no. Is Michael gonna... 
I wonder if he's going to throw down a second crypt. We'll see. We'll soon see. We'll soon see. Thank you. Thank you for... You know, I do want to learn another language. I don't know if it would be French. I am Canadian, though, so French might be the right one to learn. But I do want to learn another language one day. One day. I don't know. It might be German. might be Korean. Maybe Russian. I don't know what. Portuguese. So many people I want to be able to talk to in different languages, you know? So I don't know what I would choose. French would probably be a good one to start with because, you know, it's definitely at least easier than, um... Like Korean or Mandarin, for instance. All right, Michael, not going to Cheese Town entirely. Happy with the lead he was able to get and happy to force Hunter into immediately harassing. Cause of attack as well. Hunter looking for a last hit. He's very good with his Demon Hunter control, but he's going to have to do a whole lot. There's, you know, the beginning of some nice demon control. 48 experience stolen away. Gonna delay that aura. God, this looks so weird. When one isn't tacked, it looks so weird. <laughs> you figure you put it, like, out here, the necropolis, right? You know, why you put it right here? I, I understand the acolyte has to travel to wherever he builds it, but... God, look, put a, spread the blight. Spread the love. Put it right here. Forces are under attack. Michael just creeping in the face of the Demon Hunter. Is there a Hunter's Hall up? No, it's just archers and attacks, so... What Hunter's gonna be behind in is hero levels. Very much behind in hero levels. Archer... Oh, oh, Michael. What was Michael doing? He was building the second crypt, that's... I think. No, 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 the second crypt was up a while ago. What the hell was he doing to miss that archer? All right, we're going to Cheese Town. This is the most delayed two crypt ghoul rush I've seen in my life. Hunter might not even be aware. He might be thinking, "Oh, he's just doing some light ghoul pressure with six ghouls, and he's gonna tech behind it." But no, nah, he's going. He's going to Cheese Town. You want to bake a cake? Only three moon wells. Only a single inch of war. Typically, you need um, you know, a little bit more than that to hold this sort of pressure. Michael's even crept level 3, actually, now that I think of it, and gone for the 2 crypt. There is a town portal, but you don't want to have to use that right away. You would prefer, actually, to be able to sell it, even, and buy a circlet with that. Circlet staff. All are going to go down. Don't believe that stops you from getting a tavern hero at tier 2. Correct me if I'm wrong. One ghoul going to fall. Oh. Perfect micro for Michael. The archer's out of position for Hunter. Did he sell the TP? No, he just bought Boots, and Boots is going to snag him one ghoul kill. Nice archer positioning by Hunter thus far, but he's running low on Moonwells. It's a second ghoul so far. Nicely done. Oh, gets out of the surround. Level 2. So low on health, though. He could go, like, Immolation or something, but he just doesn't have the Moonwells to back it up. Yeah, and the archers fall back. He actually hasn't lost any archers up until this point. His Demon Hunter has managed to avoid surrounds as well, but you can't avoid your buildings going down. You cannot micro these Moonwells, guys. Hello, Kaiser! That's my side impression. That's something me and Bidu, me and Bidu say to each other all the time. Even when we're not talking about Kaiser or thinking about Kaiser, we just say to each other, Hello, Kaiser! <laughs> Alright, Ancient War now being focused. Oh, Michael says, I'm just gonna creep! I'm just gonna creep, you're not gonna fight me, I'm just gonna creep. Ghoul's being pressured by Hunter. Ooh, if he can get all these ghouls, that'd be quite some nice pickoffs. Two. Shredder picked up by Michael. He could buy two Shredders even. But Michael found like five ghoul kills here. What the hell? Second Ancient War now going up. Third Moonwell being rebuilt. Oh, fourth Moonwell. Pardon me. Alright, Michael <laughs> Michael's losing some accolades. I mean... I don't think you can win the base trade, Hunter, but 
He's doing good damage. Man, Hunter, if before this Moonwall dies, Hunter could actually buy the Shredder here. That would probably be, help him out a ton. He's not going to be able to, though. Ooh, did he get a second hero as well? Oh, he could have also bought a second hero before it went down. He's building a shop up there. Imagine a panda comes in right now. Imagine a panda. Would you be able to believe your eyes? But the Moonwalls have now supply blocked Hunter. And he's going to continue to get... Oh, actually, he's got the supply now. He's got the gold and the lumber. Am I wrong that you can get a tavern hero if you don't have an altar? I might be wrong. I don't know. I don't think I am, but I might be wrong. Archer's falling. Accolade's now being rebuilt because <laughs> he lost some in his main base. Zeppelin? Yep, Zeppelin is here. Hunter's doing remarkably well given the circumstances, but he is very much out of juice at this point. It's going to take some crazy Zeppelin micro. And the Shredder hit hurts so much. Oh, and the Death Knight going to get last hit. GG will be called. 3-0 for Michael. We went to Cheese Town. And we had the whole wheel. You pooped in the refrigerator. 3-0. ESL Cup number 80. Congratulations to Michael, man. Winning the first. Winning the first. Well played to Hunter, of course, defeating Hitman to make it here. So... Clap is in the chat for both players. Congratulations, Michael. He gets his W here. He gets his W, gets his 100 buckers, gets his EPT points. Well-deserved. Well-deserved, Michael.